Tenran432, and uh, today we're going to be playing more Mega Man X2, because why not? Anyway, last time we took down Wire Sponge, I'm not sure where they are, but uh, now we're going to take on Wheel Gator, because I believe um, Wire Sponge's weapon is Wheel Gator's weakness. Um, I haven't played Mega Man X2 in quite a bit, so... <laughs> I don't really remember all the weaknesses, but I'm sure it'll, I'm sure I'll just remember it at some time, it'll just click or something. But anyway, this stage, we are on the, currently on a dinosaur tank. A dinosaur tank. That's right. Um, it is a tank shaped like some dinosaur, but it's moving through the city, causing rampage, and basically taking down the entire city. So we're going to want to stop the tank, because who wants the dead city? Anyway, up there you might have seen a little that. We currently cannot reach it. So we'll come back when we have a certain Dr. Light upgrade. That's right, those are in this game too. Um, not exclusive to X1. Uh, but we'll get back to that. Um, so we're moving pretty swiftly through the stage. Uh, ride armors are back. Um, they're in most of the Mega Man X games. How many times have I said that? Anyway. Anyway, anyway. So the right armors, they... This one, these ones work a little bit differently. They can kind of float, and they have drills in their hands. Yeah. But that's the only difference, really. Um, down here we have this, or up here we have this elevator part. And every time you jump, the you can you click the button on the little floaty thing. And it changes direction. So if I were to jump right here, which I won't because I don't have to, uh, it'll change direction and go back right. But we don't want that, so anyway, let's keep going up. And here's this elevator, but we're going to try to keep going up. And here's this secret boss room that we won't get to yet. Oh, how clumsy of me. I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're climbing up here, and I got off there. Uh, so there's a little shield guy. I'm not. I wouldn't call. I wouldn't compare them. <laughs> compare them to the Joe, the the Joe models from the other Mega Man X games, but eh, they they have shields and they throw stuff at you. So pretty similar concepts. Uh, the only difference with these guys is you can shoot their shields off with a little charge shot. And it'll temporarily, temporarily fly into the air uh, long enough for you to beat them up real quick. Uh, you might uh, that that way was the end of the secret boss room, and then down here that way was uh, to the boss, to the actual boss room. Um, so let's just go down here. Wait, I gotta grab the health for my sub tank. This boss may be a very long one. And then there's one of these things that killed the green biker dude. So uh, let's beat it up, shoot it. These things, those things actually take quite a bit of health. So, oh well. Um, that that is not creepy at all for a boss door. Anyway, here we are. There's Wheel Gator himself, and his weakness, like I said, is the strike chain, which is uh, Wire Sponge's weapon, and. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna assume that that's oil on the floor, because this is a kid-friendly game, uh, for the most part, and this is a kid-friendly channel, and I'm just gonna call it oil, because, because it, it can't be blood, like, that's not possible in a video game for children, but anyway, after Wheel Gator shoots the wheel into the, onto the wall, uh, he'll try to uh, jump up from the oil and grab you in his teeth. And uh, you have to like shake out of it using your super Nintendo super skills. Uh, what did I just say? But then you're going to want to hit him with the strike chain as it is his weakness and will do him slightly more health. Or take away slightly more health. Um, but this can be a very long boss fight so you have to be pretty patient. So, just keep climbing back on the walls. Uh, sometimes he'll just send two wheels and then not jump out, <laughs> which makes it even worse. Uh, he does have one more attack, where if you don't hit him, 
after he jumps up, he'll like um, send wheels from his shoulder blade, shoulder blades or something uh, out at the wall. And then he has one more attack where he'll dive into the wall. Okay, good. I thought the mic wasn't on for a second. And, uh... Oh, wait. No, wait, you didn't see that. That was just a... Minor error. Um, I have cheats on at the moment. I forgot to turn them off. Uh, we'll get back to what I just did later. Uh, for now, don't worry about it and forget what just happened. Um, because it will not have... No, I glitched out the weapon. Uh, no, I'm floating now. What can I do? Oh well. Well, now you saw his spinning blade attack. I should probably take out my sub tank now. How am I gonna fix this? Uh, uh, maybe if I switch back to the X poster and then. I'm not sure. Oh well, we can still beat him. One more. One more hit should do it. Maybe two. Come on out. Come on out, Wheel Gator. And don't kill me. Sub tank, sub tank, sub tank. Okay. Uh, take out the strike chain. One, a few more hits. Come on, just stand chill. Stand still. There we go. We beat Wheel Gator. Ooh. Again, I said don't worry about the glitches. Um, you, you know, just, just forget. Forget about it. Forget about it. <sighs> okay, well that's that's Wheel Gator. And what we get the uh, what do we get? The spin wheel. The spin wheel. C cool. My memory isn't as bad as I thought it was. Okay. So now the next boss, I believe, will be Bubble Crab. After this cutscene, anyway. I see now why Sigma fell at the hands of Mega Man X. He is quite formidable. I am not sure our Mavericks can hold him out long enough. We may have to intervene. Oh, I did the wrong voice, didn't I? That was Sergis. Okay, well, here's another cutscene in Dr. Kane's lab. Dr. Kane, what happened? A group of mavericks calling themselves the X Hunters has just contacted me. Greetings, we have all of Zero's parts. They can't be yours if you could defeat us. We look forward to meeting you, X. Dun dun dun. X, Zero's control chip is still stored here. I doubt it is possible to resurrect him without it. Dr. Kane, I've gotta sit got <laughs> gotta get Zero's part back. Parts back. At any cost. Okay then. Um so there you can see the bosses on the map and they will appear at the stages. And they'll only appear at stages where the Mavericks are still there. But we're not gonna fight them yet, and we're gonna go to Bubble Crab stage. I went to a restaurant called Bubble Crab. It was, a, it was a good restaurant. They had nice food, seafood, um, boba drinks, the good stuff. But anyway, his stage. Oh, I love the music. I love all the Mega Man music. But... Uh, it's an underwater stage, as you could have guessed. Bubble, that's in the name. And there are these annoying little fish at the start. And in the next part, we have a kind of mini boss. And it is a bigger fish. A really big fish. That's right. And, um, you have to destroy it. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to. But if you want to reach the secret mini boss at the end, you have to. And it moves pretty slowly, so it gives you plenty of time to beat it up. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how exactly to do it, uh, but... Okay, it has that searchlight there, and it'll try to shoot lasers. It'll uh, send out a little laser if you get caught in it, which will hurt you. Lasers and video games pointed at you are never good. But, you can destroy its pieces, um, individually, as you try to not get hit by that laser. Uh, but it's pretty hard, they, they do have a lot of HP, even when you're landing all your shots right. 
so keep trying. Uh, I was gonna say some weird catchy slogan, but I don't have any in my mind at the time. And I'm about to die. You know what? I'll be right back. Alright. Now a few crackers. Some sprite. And now let's let's fight this fish again. Come on. Come on. I won't die again. Come on. Hit that fin there. Okay, good. He gave me health. Come on, I'm so close. I'm so close. I just gotta get that one fin. Ah! Gotta stop it before it gets to the top. And there we go. There we go. How to kill a fish. Um, 101. Fishing. Fishing if you're a robot that shoots lasers. Now you know. So, uh, in this underwater section, there are these... What are they? Squid things? But they'll try to electrocute you. Which underwater doesn't really seem too good. And in the background, it looks like a beautiful city or something. Anyway, the secret mini-boss should be up there. I'm not sure if it's in this stage. I don't remember. Oh wow, I talk about my memory being so good now. Okay, it seems that the secret mini boss isn't here right now. So let's head back down after I try it one more time because I just need to check. Let's head back down to the next part of the stage. Depressurize ourselves in the depressurizing room. Depressurizing the word. Oh well. Uh, next part is you got this climbing part to get up to Bubble Crab himself. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, um, I'm not done talking about Bubble Crab the restaurant, aren't I? Um, okay, so Bubble Crab, it was a good restaurant with boba, boba drinks and other stuff, food. And then it changed its name and became So Charm, So, so Charm. It became a barbe barbe barbecue place, which it is today in Hayward. Um, so yeah, that's the story of Bubble Crab. And now we're gonna fight Bubble Crab. Not the Bubble Crab, but a Bubble Crab. Um, so his weakness is the um, spin wheel. And you want to try to get him into a pattern where he'll walk into it, or jump into it like that. And it'll pop that bubble thing that he has. So just keep attacking. Keep attacking. Uh, it, it might come a little close. I'm not sure how exactly the strategy works with this. I don't have any sub tank energy, as you can see. Just try to get him to jump into it like that. That's the best you can do. And one more hit should do it. For bubble crab. And there we go. We have defeated bubble crab and. Uh, yeah, there we go. Bubble Crab is dead, and um, what do we get from a Bubble Crab? Um, we can probably assume that we're gonna get a weapon that has to do with bubbles. <laughs> so we got the mo the least uh, threatening, threatening sounding name for a weapon is the Bubble Splash. That's right, you heard me right. That's right, Bubble Splash. Anyway, like and subscribe uh, see more, to see more. Uh, peace and sheep, have a good day, goodbye.